friction. Question number one. A body slipping on a rough horizontal plane moves with a distillation of 4 meter per second square. What is the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the plane? So, here, body is like this. Normal reaction will act in the upward direction. Its weight, mg, will act in downward direction. Friction is given by formula mu mg. In this case, and suppose uh, there is a line and the body is kept here. In that case, normal reaction will be balanced by mg cos theta and mg will act in this direction and this angle will be theta. So, in this case, friction will be given by mu mg cos theta that will, will make use in next questions. So here, since friction provides acceleration, so we can say friction is also equal to Ma. So Ma equal to mu mg. So Mm will cancel out and A equal to mu times G. Our concern is to get mu. So, mu will be A upon G. And here, A is 4 and G is 10. So, this would be 0 0.4. Consider next question. A block is projected along a rough horizontal road with a speed of 10 meter per second. A coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.1. How far will it travel before coming to rest? As we know, A is mu G. So, A will be equal to mu is 0 0.1 into 10, that is 1 meter per second square. This is deceleration. Now, we can apply formula V square equal to U square plus 2 AS. Here, body comes to rest, it means V is 0. U is given as 10. 10 square plus 2 into a is negative 1 times s. From where we get s equal to 100 divided by 2, that is 50 meter. Now, next question. A block of mass m is kept on a horizontal table. If the static friction function is mu, find the frictional force acting on the block. Generally, frictional force is given by mu mg. Here, since the body is resting on the table, it means there is no friction. So, frictional force will be zero. Next question is, a block slides down an inclined surface of inclination 30 degree with the horizontal starting from rest. If it covers 8 meters in first two seconds, then find the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the surface. So, we can find net force acting on the block and then we will try to find out the acceleration. So, here, mg sine theta will act downward and the friction will act in upper direction and then body will accelerate in downward direction. So, here, net force that causes acceleration will be mg sin theta minus friction is equal to ma. So, m, let's write further, so mg sin 30 degree minus friction is mu mg cos 30 degree is equal to M A. M can be cancelled. So G is 10. 10 into 1 upon 2 minus mu into 10 into root 3 upon 2 equal to 8. So 5 minus mu into 5 root 3 equal to 8. So this is equation number now, here condition is 
if it covers 8 meter in first two seconds. It means we can apply a formula S equal to ut plus half a t square to get a. So this is 8 meters starting from rest is 0 plus 1 by 2 a into time is 2 square. So if we do the pencil out, a will be 4 meter per second per square. So we can put this value here. So 5 minus mu 5 root 3 equal to 4. So this will become 1. So mu equal to 1 upon 5 root 3. This can be simplified and this will become 0 0.1. Let's take next question. Next question says, suppose the block of the previous problem is pushed down the incline with the force of 4 root. So here, block is placed and 4 Newton force is applied in this direction. And there is force mg sine theta in downward direction due to its weight. And friction will act in this direction. Here, friction will be mu mg cos theta and uh, Force the forces acting in downward direction will be mg sine theta plus 4. So, net force in downward direction that causes the acceleration in the block will be difference of the two. So, we can say mg sine theta sine 30 degree plus 4 minus mu mg cos. 30 degree equal to m a. Here is our question m is given as 4 and mu we have evaluated in previous problem 0 0.11. 4 into 10 into sine 30 is 1 by 2 plus 4 minus mu is 0 0.11 into 4 into 10 into uh, 3 by 2 equal to 4. So here, this will become 20, 20 plus 4 minus, this is 5, so 0 0.11 into 20 root 3 equal to 4 root, or A equal to 24 minus 0 0.11 into 20 root 3, 20 into 1.732. Divided by right. So this will become twenty point one eight divided by four, which will be almost five meter per second square. Now we have to find out how far will it travel in first two seconds. So we can apply the formula S equal to U T plus half. A t square. So starting from this, s equal to 0 plus 1 by 2. Acceleration is 5 times time is 2, so 2 square. 1 to the pencil out. So we will get s equal to 10 meter. And that is our answer. Thank you for watching.